we have some more spicy content coming from Gamescom on Path of Exile 2. If you're interested in staying up to date with all the news surrounding Path of Exile 2, this channel will be creating up to date content all the way to early access release on November 15th and beyond. If you don't have time to scour the internet and want a one stop shop for all PoE2 information, hit the subscription button to stay up to date. Now, game director Jonathan Rogers did another interview with some Korean YouTubers. In this video, we're going to discuss the details of the campaign coming on November 15th, what content players can expect on the early access version, how the user experience and new skill system is changing in PoE2 to make it more new player friendly. We're also going to hear Jonathan address the complaint that Path of Exile 2 has the protection perception of having a much slower combat and play style system this video is going to cover all these topics and more so i hope you'll join me and stick around now let's get into the details of the interview with game director jonathan rogers so in this interview with the korean youtubers jonathan started off by really getting into what we can expect with the early access version of path of exile 2 on november 15th and i have to say it was truly amazing to hear him say that they want the early access version of the game to be good enough to blow other games out of the water right from the get-go. It's important to them that a lot of the game is available at early access all the way to end game. Jonathan stated, even though it's an early access version, they want it to be of quality that is at the same standard of any retail game. This is good news for us players as Jonathan reiterated many times that they want to ensure there is really good content for the early access release on November 15th. Jonathan also got into the campaign. The campaign will be the same length as what we have in PoE. Jonathan stated that the campaign quality dropped off in Path of Exile, whereas in Path of Exile 2, it will continue to be of high quality all the way through. He said players should not get bored of the campaign for a very long time. And actually, Jonathan said repeatedly that he understands that players are going to be playing the campaign, the end game all the content over and over so when they were designing path of exile 2 they always had this in their back of their mind and they wanted to keep everything fresh there are a lot more mechanics and bosses happening in path of exile 2 compared to poe the campaign in path of exile 2 will have 100 bosses just to highlight the quality level of bosses in path of exile 2 the level of design grinding gear games put into making end game bosses in the original game is being put into making all the bosses in the poe2 campaign that just highlights the depth and the quality of what's happening in path of exile 2 when it comes to the bosses another thing jonathan revealed is that the campaign map is random and the layout changes so every league will have different maps hello diablo 2 there are going to be five and a half acts in path of exile 2 spanning over 100 unique and i want to highlight 100 unique areas and every area has a boss hence why there's a hundred bosses because there's a hundred unique areas jonathan also stated he expects players to die at least three times when fighting bosses for the very first time and that's because he thinks until players learn the mechanics of the boss fights you're gonna die two to three times the first time you fight a boss so he actually made the comment he doesn't recommend players play hardcore on your first playthrough rip jonathan was asked about what kind of content we can expect for the early access version of poe2 on november 15th and although he's broached a lot of topics i want to highlight just a couple it was very interesting to hear him say that they're taking some of the previous poe leagues and redoing them for path of exile 2 and this correlates to my last video where we were told that many of the poe mechanics are going to be brought forward to path of exile 2 not all of them but 
many of them and they're not bringing all of them because they want to leave room obviously for new mechanic for path of exile 2 so this was interesting to hear that and the other interesting thing and probably the one that i took away the most during this content discussion was the fact that jonathan stated he made a very interesting comment he said that most new arpgs when they initially launch the initial feedback coming back from the player base is that the game is good but the end game is too short and jonathan said that they want to avoid this with the path of exile 2 even though it's an early access version they want to avoid this they want to hit the ground running and they want to ensure that quality of the game of path of exile 2 with early access doesn't have that kind of feedback so in light of that jonathan said their focus their content focus right now is 100 on end game content and getting it right because they don't want the same reaction when their early access version dropped on november 15th that is great news for the player base they want to get it right right from the get-go that is awesome awesome news now regarding the end game he also revealed that they'll be sharing more of the end game plans closer to november they'll also be sharing with us the full end game systems we can expect in poe 2 so stay tuned looks like we're gonna get a lot of end game information closer to november now jonathan also got asked about the new user experience in path of exile 2 and jonathan went and elaborated on this topic and he honed in on a couple of things you know jonathan hopes that poe2 will foster new players not having to use a build guide and to just be able to play and enjoy the game he went on and mentioned that poe2 they didn't want to scare players too much and over time he hopes players will eventually grow to learn that there's more out there in the game and so what does that mean they put a lot of new mechanics and user interfaces to really make new player friendly tools and we've seen some of that in previous videos whether it's the skill system tree the information that is now in the game in the skill tree there is way more information that helps guide a player when they're making their build a skill is a damage upgrade if it's not if the skill gem works or doesn't work all these little things the genesis of it is to reduce the learning curve that is one of the reputations that path of exile has so in poe 2 they're going to great length to to help the player understand the game and have the information and knowledge at their fingertips, which all lends itself to making the game very new player user friendly. So this is great news. So he expects the user experience for new players to be much more friendlier and seamless. And he coined and mentioned the phrase about players just coming in playing and and slowly getting into the game and doing whatever they want and eventually over time as they get more adapted to the environment that they're going to learn that there's more out there to experience so that overwhelming feeling is not there from the get-go and i thought that was very smart of jonathan to highlight so it sounds like the user experience is going to be very 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 user friendly for the new player now this is is a hot topic currently in the path of exile community and let's just talk about the elephant in the room when it comes to path of exile 2 probably one of the most biggest complaints that path of exile players have about what they're seeing about path of exile 2 is that it's blatantly obvious that the play style and combat in poe 2 is going to be much slower and some of the player base are having issues with that. So Jonathan was asked about that. Now, it was very interesting how Jonathan tackled this question. And I have to say, it was a very well done response from his part. And to tackle this perception, he said, okay, it may look slow, but he wanted to mention and highlight the fact that with the increased movement, in Path of Exile 2, and the fact that you can now perform skills while moving, Jonathan argued that the skill used per second isn't going to be that much lower than what we're used to in Path of Exile 2. And they want us to still be gods when we get to the end game. 
So Jonathan really, I think, answered that question brilliantly. And when you sit down and think about the fact that what he said might lend itself to kind of address this perception of PoE2 being a much more slower game from a play style and combat feel. I, I really think how Jonathan answered this question, I think only time will tell. We'll see how the player base is going to react to it. But the fact that you can now move and still use skills, I think is going to lend itself to, I think, players slowly acclimatizing to this new play style. Now, Jonathan also addressed how the screen clutter in Path of Exile is is not going to happen in Path of Exile 2. He wants players to be able to see what is happening and he wants them to be able to react to boss mechanics without all the screen clutter. It was very interesting in the many live demos that I've seen Jonathan participate through numerous interviews. He always brings up the fact of the stun meter with bosses and how getting that down before using like your major skill with whatever class they were demonstrating at the time it's very interesting that he br brings that up that you're going to get more oomph from your main attack skill once the stun bar is down um so i love how methodical the approach is when it comes to the combat system in Path of Exile 2. I think it's going to lend itself to a lot of players being happy about it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And then lastly, Jonathan got asked about the release cycle and Path of Exile and Path of Exile 2. It's going to follow the traditional method of leagues. They're going to typically be three months in length. And of course, depending on what's going on, that may be extended or shortened. But typically, as we know, Path of Exile, and it's going to be the same in Path of Exile 2, the leagues are going to be three months and they're going to be staggered, but they will be in conjunction with each other. So I think Jonathan, and the way I interpret it, you guys tell me if I interpreted it wrong. He said one month Path of Exile will be released. Then the following month, PoE 2 League, New League will launch. Uh, so there's a staggering there and there will be overlapping. And he mentioned the fact that depending on the overlapping of the player base, they may fine tune that process, but they won't know until they see what's happening with the player base overlap. So uh, stay tuned for more on that. And that in a nutshell is how the interview with the Korean YouTubers went at Gamescom. Wow, I'm telling you, the more I hear and the more information we get about Path of Exile 2 and the early access version, of poe2 on november 15th i gotta say like wow uh i this day can't come fast enough it's so refreshing hearing a studio talk about all the things that they're doing in a video game and how they want to excel and advance their game and i just want to highlight what we've learned so far and now this isn't covering it all guys because this would be a three-hour video but all the bosses, no reused assets, all made from scratch. 100 bosses in 100 unique areas in the campaign. 100 bosses, unique bosses in the campaign. Not the end game. We're not even talking about the end game. All only in the campaign. 100 unique areas, 100 bosses. Unbelievable. The new skill system, how skills gems have changed, the interaction and information at the player's fingertips when it comes to seeking knowledge is much more advanced and new player friendly in Path of Exile 2. I could go on and on. It's clear to me that grinding gear games not only want to create a top in class ARPG, but they want to widen their net when it comes to what kind of players they're attracting. Path of Exile has its pitfalls when it comes to perception out there. And that is the fact that it's a very complicated game and that you need a PhD. And it, to me, it's evident in all the information we're getting leading up to the early access release of PoE2 on November 15th, that one of the clear goals that Grinding Gear Games has for this game is not only to elevate the 
game and what Path of Exile players are used to, but they also want to attract a wider audience and a wider player base and make it new player friendly. It's just inspiring to hear and watch what they're doing with this game. I'm super excited. I hope you are too. Let me know what your comments are and thoughts are on this video. And let me know if you're going to be playing Path of Exile 2 on November 15th. I know I will. And by the way, if you want to watch the launch of PoE 2 on November 15th, come and watch it live on my Twitch channel. I live stream. I will be live streaming it right from the get-go all weekend. It's going to be epic. Uh, the channel name is Sammy Caps on Twitch. Come and we have a cool, chill community. Come over and say hello. Would love to say hello back. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. And as always, hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.